With the stock market taking an absolute pounding of late, some shares are trading very temptingly low. Now of course, because they're trading low doesn't mean they're necessarily cheap. It's always worth doing your own research to see if there's value in the stock, but there are two penny shares I've had my eye on for a while now, and there are signs they may start to shift upward in value soon, so I think they have a place within my portfolio. They also offer me the diversity that I've been seeking too. First up is Centrica, ticker name CNA. Centrica supply energy in the UK and are owners of major companies including Sean Connery's favourites, British Gas and Scottish Gas, and is the largest supplier of domestic gas in the UK. They also have stakes in other areas of energy, including nuclear. Centrica have had a hard few years but have made real efforts to streamline their business and cut costs, but at the same time improve service. Currently this is paying off for them nicely, as they've got their act together just as things have got choppy, but as we're still not through the worst of it, there is still a risk. Their interest in nuclear investment is what draws me, but this is a recent change of direction for the company, as they have been up until recently selling off their nuclear interests. There does seem to be a lot of chopping and changing within the company's direction too, which makes me worry a little, but at the same time, the energy market has been turned on its head these last few years. Wholesale costs have been a roller coaster, and now with supply issues due to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, as a result of this, Centrica have had a starring role in making sure the UK still has a reliable gas supply. They've done this by securing additional supply from Norway and are also in talks with the government to reopen old gas storage facilities. I think starting to invest in alternative infrastructure is probably actually quite sensible. Centrica have been in the news a bit lately for other reasons too, as they were one of the companies who could potentially bail out ailing energy firm Bulb, but they have recently pulled out of that deal. I think on the whole it's more a case of the company trying to find direction in an ever-changing market rather than vague management, and I think with such uncertainty it was probably actually a smart move on their part. Centrica don't currently pay a dividend and haven't since 2019, but there are whisperings that they may resume paying one soon, so we'll have to wait and see on that one. As you can see, 2019 saw a big dip in revenue, down nearly 50% on the previous year, but you can see they have weathered that rough patch and are starting to claw back. Centrica do look risky, but with their share price currently hovering around the 85p mark, I think it's a risk I want to take. And with the recent decision by the government that they shouldn't face a windfall tax, the price is starting to take off. Next up is Rolls Royce, ticker name RR. This isn't the luxury car brand though, this is their manufacturing arm. They make things like jet engines and high end power solutions, but also have defence contracts. The share price has been down for some time now as the company has accumulated massive debts and with the lockdown, air travel was greatly restricted. This meant less flying time for their engines, which in turn meant less revenue created from servicing those engines. Their service contracts are a big part of their revenue and as long as the world stays open to air traffic, this side of the business could definitely shore up their balance sheets. The defence side could also see a lot of demand as they are known for their quality manufacturing and reliable parts and with defence budgets rising I'm sure they will be chowing down on a big slice of that pie. What grabs my attention though is their research and investment in more efficient engines and alternative propulsion methods. As they already have a wealth of experience and expertise I believe if anyone can bring through new technology it's Rolls Royce. They have also pledged to have net zero greenhouse emissions by 2030 and in 2020 joined the UN's race to zero initiative. Seeing as the sectors they operate in are some of the worst for polluters, I think this is a really good sign and hopefully one that will have a positive knock-on effect. They are also manufacturing highly reliable power generator systems and are supplying these to firms that produce silicon chips as a way to ensure the manufacturing plants receive steady, reliable power which is critical in the chip making process. As the demand for chips is only going to grow, I think investing in the suppliers of their infrastructure could be wise. They've also not paid a dividend since 2019, and I would be surprised if they reinstated it this year. I think buying down their debt is their priority rather than paying shareholders, but that's something I can be patient about. Rolls-Royce are a company that have been mentioned multiple times now when I've asked you guys what shares you're watching. It's easy to see why. They are risky, they do still have big debts, but I think as long as they can clear those, and as long as they remain focused and can absorb rising costs, I think the future could be good for them. 
I've deliberately not gone into each company's fundamentals. I'll let you look and see if they fit your needs and level of risk. Certain factors can change with the share price too, so depending on when you watch this, they can be vastly different. So when this video is made, at current time though, both are trading between the 80 and 90 pence mark. As always though, this isn't advice of any kind, this is just what is catching my eye at the minute. Sorry if this video has been rough around the edges, I'm still feeling pretty grotty, but I just had to get off the sofa and do something. Let me know down below what you have your eye on, and are you buying up, or waiting for things to settle down before you take a jump? That's it for today, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I'll be posting my next monthly portfolio update soon, so you can see how my new picks have performed. I look forward to seeing you again, stay safe out there. Peace.